The Compilation of Imam At-Tirmidhi The Book on Sacrifices Chapter on What Has Been Related About the Virtues of Slaughtering Aisha narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, A human does no action from the actions on the day of Nahal more beloved to Allah than spilling blood. On the day of judgment, it will appear with its horns and hair and hooves and indeed the blood will be accepted by Allah from where it is received before it even falls upon the earth. So let your hearts delight in it. This hadith is greater ta'if or weak. Comments In the view of the people of knowledge, sacrifice is an emphasized sunnah and leaving it, in spite of having the ability to perform it, is highly disapproved. Abu Bakr, Umar, Bilal, Ibn Mas'ud, Sa'id bin Musayyab, Al-Qamah, Aswad, Ata'ah, Al-Shafi'i, Ahmed, and Ishaq have the same view, that this is an emphasized sunnah. Imam Rabi'ah, Malik, Al-Thawri, Al-Awza'i, Al-Layth, and Abu Hanifa describe it as an obligation. Al-Mughni, volume 13, page 360. Emphatic orders for performing the sunnah show its superiority and excellence. Chapter on what has been related about sacrificing two male sheep. Anas bin Malik narrated, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, slaughtered two horned male sheep which were mostly white. He slaughtered them with his hand and mentioned Allah's name. And he said, Allahu Akbar, and put his foot on their sides. This hadith is graded sahih or Authentic Comments This narration shows the way the sacrifice is carried out. Lay the animal of sacrifice on your left facing the Kaaba. Put your right leg on its thigh and hold the mouth tightly to keep the throat tight. And slaughter with the right hand mentioning the name of Allah aloud. That is, in the name of Allah. Allah is greatest. Remember that the knife used for slaughtering must be very sharp. Chapter 1 what has been related about slaughtering, offering sacrifices, on behalf of the deceased. Hanash narrated that Ali used to slaughter two male sheep, one for the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the other for himself. When this was mentioned to him, he said, He ordered me to, meaning the Prophet, peace be upon him, so I will never leave it. This hadith is greater da'if, or weak. Comments Sacrificing on behalf of a deceased person is not proven from any authentic narration. Since the Prophet, peace be upon him, performed the sacrifice on behalf of the Muslim Ummah, dead and alive, all are included in the Ummah. Therefore, some people allow sacrificing on behalf of deceased people. It is also not proven that all of the meat of the sacrifice performed on behalf of the Ummah was given in charity and distributed among the poor. Tuhfat al-Ahwadi, Volume 2, page 354 Chapter on what has been related about what is recommended to slaughter as sacrifice. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri narrated, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, slaughtered a horned male ram of fine pedigree. Around his mouth was black, and his legs were black, and around his eyes was black. This hadith is greeted Hassan, or Good. Comments. It seems that some people think that a castrated male animal is not approved for sacrifice. This view is not correct. One authentic narration in Abi Dawood mentions two castrated rams. Chapter on what is not allowed for slaughtering as sacrifice. al bara bin Azib narrated a marfu' narration from the Prophet peace be upon him saying a crippled animal whose limb is obvious is not to be slaughtered as sacrifice, nor an animal with a bad eye whose blindness is obvious, nor a sick animal whose sickness is obvious, nor an emaciated animal that has no marrow in its bones. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Four defects have been mentioned in this narration making any animal that has any of these defects unlawful for sacrifice. 
all the people of knowledge agree on this point. Actually, the sacrifice is a demonstration of love and thanks to Allah from his slave, that he made the animal under his control. Therefore, a healthy and admirable animal should be selected for sacrifice. Chapter 1 What is Disliked for Slaughtering in Sacrifice Ali bin Abi Talib said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, ordered that we check the eyes and ears, and not to slaughter the muqabalah, nor the mudabarah, nor the sharqa, nor the kharqa. This hadith is really da'if, or weak. Comments Sacrifice of a defective animal is unlawful, and the selection of an animal with mutilated ears or with a broken leg, etc., is not approved. There is a difference of opinion on shortened ears. See for details Al Mughni, Volume 13, page 370. Chapter on What has been related about the Jatha' among sheep for slaughtering. Abu Kibash narrated I brought a Jatha' sheep to Al Medina for sale, but it remained with me. I saw Abu Huraira and I asked him about it. So he said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saying, the best male or female udhiyah is that from the jadah sheep. He said, so the people took note of that. They became interested in buying. This hadith is greater da'if or weak. Footnote. Regarding the jadah sheep, see the explanation after hadith number 1500 and also hadith number 621. Comments. The jadah sheep is acceptable for sacrifice, but the thaniya is better. In the view of most of the people, one year and above is best for the sacrifice, but a healthy lamb of six months is acceptable. Uqba bin Amir narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, gave him sheep to distribute among his companions as a sacrifice. There remained a young male kid or a young billy goat, so I mentioned that to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he said, Sacrifice it for yourself. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Atud is an one year old healthy goat, and in view of Ibn Batal, five months old is Atud. Jeddi is an one year old male goat. Chapter on What has been related about sharing in the Udhiyya sacrifice. Ibn Abbas narrated, We were with the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him, on a journey when the day of Adha came. So we shared seven for a cow and ten for a camel. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Jabir narrated, we performed the Nahar sacrifice with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, at al hudaybiyah a camel for seven persons and a cow for seven persons. This hadith is graded Sahih or authentic. Comments According to the view of most of the people of knowledge, seven persons can share a camel or cow for sacrifice. All four imma support this point of view. Chapter on Regarding a Sacrificial Animal with a Stump, Horn, or Ear Hujayya bin Adi narrated, Ali said, A cow is for seven. I said, And if it gives birth? He said, Then slaughter its offspring with it. I said, what if it is lame? He said, when it has reached the place of the ritual. I said, what if it has a broken horn? He said, there is no harm. We were ordered, or the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, ordered us to check the two eyes and the two ears. This hadith is greeted Hassan, or good. Footnote, regarding the statement, when it has reached the place of the ritual, meaning the place of its slaughtering, or meaning, then it may be slaughtered. Comments If an animal for sacrifice is pregnant and gives birth to a calf, it should be slaughtered with the animal. Imam Shafi'i supports this view. But in the view of Imam Abu Hanifa, the calf can be given alive to some needy and poor person. If it is slaughtered with the animal, a toyment will be paid for it. al mughni Volume 13, page 375 Ali narrated, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prohibited that an animal with a adab, stump, horn, or ear should be slaughtered as a sacrifice. 
Qatada, one of the narrators said, So I mentioned this to Sa'id bin al-Musayyab, and he said, The adab is that which equals half or more than that. This hadith is graded hasan, or good. Comments According to Allama ibn Qudama, adab means an animal of which more than half of its horn or ear is amputated. Chapter on what has been related about one sheep will suffice for the people in the household. Ata bin Yasir narrated, I asked Abu Ayyub al-Ansari how the slaughtering was done during the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. He said, a man would sacrifice a sheep for himself and the people in his household. They would eat from it and feed others until the people later would boast about it and it became as you see now. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments The Prophet peace be upon him used to sacrifice a lamb on behalf of his family. Chapter on The Evidence That the Udhiya Sacrifice Is a Sunnah Jabala bin Suhaim narrated that a man asked Ibn Umar about the Udhiya. Is it obligatory? So he said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him performed the Udhiya as did the Muslims. He repeated the question. So he said, Do you understand? The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him slaughtered as did the Muslims. This hadith is great da'if or weak. Comments The Prophet peace be upon him regularly offered the sacrifice throughout his life and his companions followed him. One who is poor and has nothing is exempt from offering a sacrifice. Ibn Umar narrated The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him stayed in al Medina for 10 years performing the Udhiyah. This hadith is greater da'if or weak. Comments The regular practice of the Prophet peace be upon him of offering a sacrifice every year is a model for every Muslim. Continuity in practice does not make it an obligation but proves its significance. Chapter on What has been related about slaughtering after the Salah Al-Bara bin Azib narrated The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him delivered a sermon to us on the day of Nahar and he said None of you should slaughter until he performs the Salah. He said, So my maternal uncle stood and said, O Messenger of Allah, this is the day in which meat is disliked, and I hasten my sacrifice to feed my family and the people of my dwellings, or my neighbors. He said, Repeat your slaughter with another. He said, O Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, I have a she kid that has better meat than my sheep. Should I slaughter it? He said, Yes, and it is better, and it will suffice for you, but a jatha will not be accepted after you. This hadith is graded sahih, or authentic. Comments Since Abu Burda bin Niyar had already slaughtered his animal of sacrifice, he was allowed to sacrifice a well-nourished suckling kid lamb instead. Similarly, Uqba bin Amir was also allowed, but this permission was not for all times and for all people. Regarding the time of sacrifice, there is no difference between the people living in towns and cities and the people living in rural areas. Chapter on what has been related about it being disliked to eat from the sacrificial meat beyond three days. Ibn Umar narrated that the Prophet peace be upon him said, none of you should eat from the meat of his sacrificial meat beyond three days. This hadith is graded sahih or Authentic Chapter on What has been related about the permission to eat from it beyond three days Sulaiman bin Buraida narrated from his father that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said I used to prohibit you from eating the meat of the sacrifice beyond three days so that those who have the ability will give to those who do not have it so now eat as you like feed others and save from it this hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Eating and storing the meat of sacrifice for more than three days is allowed and lawful because its prohibition was temporary and later it was abrogated. Abis bin Rabi'ah narrated, I said to the mother of the believers, Did the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him prohibit from the meat of the sacrifice? She said, No, but only a few people could slaughter so he liked that they feed those who did not slaughter. 
Later, we would store a leg to eat after 10 days. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Ummul Mu'mineen Aisha explains that its purpose was to provide meat to those who were poor and needy. Otherwise, it is not prohibited to eat and store it after three days. Chapter on what has been related about the Fara' and the Altira. Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, There is no Fara' nor Altira. This hadith is graded Sahih or authentic. Comments As there is no performance of Hajj after the 10th of Dhul Hijjah, therefore, it has been ended here, whereas other rites related to Hajj are performed after the 10th of Dhul Hijjah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said that Al Hajj is reaching Arafah, and the 9th of Dhul Hijjah is the day of Arafah, which lasts till the Fajr prayer of the 9th of Dhul Hijjah. Chapter 1 What has been related about the Aqiqah? Yusuf bin Mahaka narrated they entered upon Hafsa bint Abdurrahman to ask her about the Aqiqah. She informed them that Aisha had informed her that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, ordered them that for a boy, two sheep were sufficient, and for a girl, one sheep. This hadith is graded Hassan, or good. Comments According to Abu Ubaidah, Aqiqah is the hair that is on the head of a newly born baby. As this hair is shaved on the seventh day after birth, and an animal is slaughtered, therefore, all this process is named Aqiqah. According to Imam Ahmed, slaughtering an animal for this particular event is called Aqiqah. Chapter on the Adhan in the Ear of the Newborn Ubaidullah bin Abi Rafi' narrated that his father said, I saw the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say the Adhan in the ear of Al-Hasan bin Ali when he was born to Fatima, the Adhan of Salah. This hadith is graded da'if or weak. Comments Immediately after the birth of a child, adhan should be called in the right ear of the baby. Umar bin Abdul Aziz used to say the adhan in the right ear and the iqama in the left. Some of the scholars considered this action based on the various narrations which although weak, strengthen each other in their view. Sheikh Albani's last grade was that it is weak. See Al Da'if, Hadith number 6121. Salman bin Amir al Dabbi narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, For a boy there is an aqiqah, so spill blood for him and remove the harm from him. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Here, Al Adha, harm, means the hair on the head of a newborn baby. Um Kurz narrated that she asked the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, about the Aqiqah. He said, For the boy is two sheep, and for the girl is one. It will not harm you if they, i.e., the sheep, are male or female. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Chapter on The best sacrifice is the male sheep. Abu Umama narrated, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The best udhiyah, sacrifice, is the ram, and the best burial shroud is the hulla. This hadith is graded ta'if, or weak. Footnote Hulla, meaning an izhar, in a rida. In a nihaya, it says, Al hulla is a singular for hulla, a yamani burd. It will not be called hulla unless it is two articles of clothing from the same cloth. Tuhfat al lahwaldi Comments Among the goat, lamb, and ram, a ram is preferred and a better choice of sacrifice. A complete camel as a sacrifice for one person is appreciated and considered an excellent choice. Al-Mughni, volume 13, page 366 Chapter on A Sacrifice Every Year Mikhnaf bin Sulaim narrated we were standing with the Prophet, peace be upon him, at Arafah, when I heard him say, O you people, for every household, each year is a udhiya, a sacrifice, and altira. Do you know what an altira is? It is that which you call ar-rajabiyah. This hadith is graded ta'if, 
or weak. Footnote. Sheikh Albani graded this hadith Hassan while the order for Altira is abrogated, meaning the order for Udhiyah remains. Comments. One who has the ability and resources should offer an animal in sacrifice on behalf of his family every year. And if possible, one should slaughter an animal in the month of Rajab to get the favor of Allah. However, the majority of the scholars hold the view that the order for Altirah is abrogated. Tuhfat al Lahwaldi. Chapter on Ta'aqiqa with one sheep. Muhammad bin Ali bin al Hussein narrated that Ali bin Abi Talib said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, had the aqiqa for Al Hassan with one sheep, and said, O Fatima, shave his head and give the weight of his hair in silver as charity. He said, So I weighed it, and it was the weight of a dirham or a bit of a dirham. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Comments It is inferred from the study of various narrations that giving silver in charity which is equal to the weight of hair is preferable and appreciated. Al Mughni, volume 13. Page 397 According to an authentic narration, two lambs for a boy and one for a girl are recommended for sacrifice on the day of the Aqiqah. Sacrifice of one lamb is also allowed for the boy in case of tight financial circumstances. Al-Mughni, Volume 3, Page 396 Chapter on The Sacrifice with Two Male Sheep Abdurrahman bin Abi Bakrah narrated from his father that the Prophet, peace be upon him, gave a khutbah, then he descended and called for two rams and slaughtered them. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Chapter on what is said upon slaughtering. Jabir bin Abdullah narrated, I attended the Eid al-Adha with the Prophet, peace be upon him, at the Musalla. When he finished his khutbah, he descended from his minbar and was given a male sheep. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, slaughtered it with his hand and said, Bismillah, Wallahu Akbar. This is from me and whoever does not slaughter from my ummah. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Comments At the time of slaughtering an animal of sacrifice, one mentions the name of Allah. I start in the name of Allah and Allah is the greatest. Most of the scholars add these words, O oh Allah, this is in your name, and accept from me. Al-Mughni, volume 13, page 390. Chapter on About the Aqiqah Samura narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The boy is mortgaged by his Aqiqah. Slaughtering should be done for him on the seventh day. He should be given a name, and his head should be shaved. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Some scholars say that because a child is a blessing of Allah for man, the aqiqah is an acknowledgement and act of gratitude for this blessing. It remains due until it is acknowledged by sacrificing an animal in the name of Allah. Shaving the head of the baby is a must at this time. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, slaughtered on behalf of himself after he was 40, indicating its permissibility whenever one is able, if it was not done on the seventh day. Chapter on To avoid removing one's hair for those who want to offer sacrifice. Um Salama narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever sees the crescent of Dhul Hijjah and wants to slaughter a sacrifice, he should not take from his hair nor from his nails. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments According to Imam Ahmed and Sa'id bin Musayyab, it is unlawful to trim the hair. According to Malik, a Shafi'i, and some Hanabils, trimming the hair is disliked. In the view of Abu Hanifa, it is not disliked. See Tahfat al-Ahwaldi.